too chop or not too chop? That is the question. All four quadrants of my hair have a life of their own. A little bit closer so you guys can see the textures more up close. The back, the back right quadrant is the most healthy. And then it's the left rear and then right front, left front, as you can see. I washed my hair today, I conditioned it, I rinsed the conditioner out, and then um, put this gel in there. So in my hair right now, the only things in my hair, the only thing that is in my hair is water and this Aunt Jackie's flaxseed recipe, don't shrink, elongating curl gel. my first time using it for like a wash and go I slipped my ponytails back with this um that's why it's half empty but this is the first time using it on like a wash and go this is my wash and go I'm not going anywhere with this wash and go but I feel like it's the best way to introduce my hair kind of to you guys and let you know what's going on or what's not going on because I'm about to slip this thing back in the ponytail before I go anywhere. Okay, let me put this up. Okay, so this is the most healthy. Quadrant. If you observe, I'm just going to be tracking the process of my hair, basically, through YouTube. This is the goal, I think. But I really can't even tell if these are my real natural curls because they might still have slightly some damage from heat. So I'm doing, I'm transitioning from, I haven't had a perm and maybe five to eight years. So I've been natural for a while, but I was one of the girls that are, that were natural, but I'm still straightening my hair. Like I never wore my hair, I've never worn my hair curly. Um, I'm going to the salon to get my silk press every month. I used to do every two weeks, then I dropped back to every month because I didn't want to damage my hair. Obviously, it was still getting damaged. So even if you don't have a perm or in your stylist is saying that your hair is healthy and straightening it all the time won't do anything, like won't damage your curls. I was getting my hair straightened once a month and there's still damage to my hair. I'm thinking the front is more damaged than the back because the front is from your face. You want that extra crispy, okay? Excuse me. <laughs> extra crispy, extra sleek press. I might um, insert a video of me with my straight hair. I love my straight hair. I miss it. I miss it a lot. But I got curly girl goals. I don't know why. I've been thinking about doing this for a long time. I'm finally, finally doing it. This is the right front. You can kind of tell where the damage starts about here. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna let it grow out some more, obviously, and try to catch up with the back. It's the left front, it's the most damaged section. You can see the curls coming through kind of the roots, and you can kind of see reflecting off the white wall where the damage starts. So most of my length in the front is damaged here. And then to the back. It's not as damaged, but there's definitely still some work to do. So I wish somebody told me uh, while I was transitioning, 
I cannot do most of the styles that these natural girls are doing. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I thought, oh, I could wash and go. As soon as I start, um, as soon as I stop putting heat on my hair, sis, no, it's gonna be a while. As you can see, it's gonna be a while before I can really like do a cute wash and go with these curls. I feel like I'm gonna be in love with my curls as soon as I become 100% natural. But I'm scared of the chop, sis. If I was to chop, look how short my hair would be. I've never had short hair. So, it might be traumatizing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys my wash and go results. <laughs> oh my gosh, sis, I cannot go anywhere. I need to get my spray bottle and slick. To lick these strands back. I could probably do like a curly ponytail and then use the straight ends to wrap around. But it is so hard to find hairstyles for transitioning girls. It's always protective hairstyles or bun it up, sis. And I'm the bun kind of girl. Because the protective styles, how they be braiding it, I might not have no edges left. My stuff already kind of thin, like, I got to be careful with the protective styles, and you should too. Make sure before you um, arrive to your stylist, take your own edges out. Like, sis, don't touch this right here. You can have a little curlies. Like, I be taking a lot of edges out, like, part worthy when I get braids. But it's still, I still feel like... It be taking my edges out. I ain't with that. But okay. Come follow me on my journey to being 100% a curly girl. Like a natural curly girl. If you have videos of your failed wash and goes, I don't know if this was a fail or I was just uneducated. Maybe I was just uneducated on the fact that wash and, girl, wash and goes are only for women who are fully transitioned. If you have damaged hair, sis, it's not for you. Because it's not for me. So if you have a failed wash and go or transitioning wash and go um let me know in the comments and i'll check yours out if you have any suggestions for me some hairstyle suggestions let me know that too because obviously i need some help okay bye <laughs>